Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll show you how to install Windows Server 2025 on Proxmox, step by step, from downloading the ISO to setting up your fully working virtual machine. Let's jump right in. First, open the link in the description to download the Windows Server 2025 ISO. Copy the download link, then go to Proxmox, Local, ISO, Download from URL. Give the file any name you like and wait for the task to finish. Next, do the same for the Vertio drivers. The link is also in the description. Add the URL, name it, download it, and wait for completion. Now right-click your PVE host and select Create VM. Choose a name and ID for your virtual machine. If you use resource pools, select one here. Under ISO image, choose your Windows Server 2025 ISO. Set the guest OS type to Windows, check Add Additional Drivers, and select the Vert.io ISO. the storage location and allocate at least 20 gigabytes of disk space. For CPU assign at least two cores and set the CPU type to host. This helps avoid compatibility issues. RAM should be at least 8 gigabytes. Adjust your network settings if needed. Check Start after creation and click Finish. Once the VM is created, open the console. If you don't see the installer, press reset and spam the enter key. Follow the setup. Select your language and keyboard layout, accept the terms, and make sure to choose desktop experience if you want a graphical interface. Next, click Load Driver, select Browse, navigate to CD Drive, Vertio, AMD64, 2K25, choose the driver shown and install it. Then click Next and start the installation.
Once installation is complete, set a strong administrator password and click Finish. Your Windows Server 2025 VM is now running. Now let's install the network drivers. Open the device manager. Find Ethernet controller. Right click update driver. Browse my computer. Select your Virto CD drive. Check include subfolders and click next. This will install your network adapter driver. Next, enable remote desktop so you don't have to use the Proxmox console. Toggle it to on and confirm. Then open command prompt. Type ipconfig and note your IPv4 address. You can now connect using remote desktop. Log in with your administrator account and confirm the connection. Finally, open Windows Update and install all available updates. The ISOs are often not fully up to date. That's it! Your Windows Server 2025 is now up and running on Proxmox. If this tutorial helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Proxmox Home Lab and Server Guides. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.